to look at the slides on page eight of our one section, uh, chapter one, section one sli uh, slides. We're going to do the examples here. So here's the first example. Find the distance between the points four, three, negative four, three, and two, six. So I'm going to switch over to our note board and we'll go from there. I have to do that a little differently than I usually would. I'm getting used to this system. I apologize for the. Uh, apologize for the confusion here, but we're getting there. OK, so here we go. And we had the. Um, points negative four, three and two, six. So here we go. We want to find the distance between these and remember that we have the distance formula. Distance between point one and point two. Is equal to the square root of. X. Two minus X one squared. Plus Y two minus Y one. Squared. Well, we'll just call this point one, negative four, three, so that it makes this negative four x one, and three is y one, and then that makes two six point two, so x two is x two, and six is y two. All right, so now we can plug that information into our formula. That gives us the square root of X2 is 2 minus X1 is negative 4. Plus. Y2 is 6. Minus Y1 is 3. OK, so now I take. 2 minus negative 4. 2 minus negative 4 is the same as 2 plus 4, so that's 6 plus 6 minus 3 is 3. Uh, I'm sorry, we're squaring these. I forgot to do that. So that's 6 squared plus 3 squared is the square root of 36 plus 9, which is equal to the square root of 45. And that's equal to the square root of 9 times 5 or the square root or three times the square root of five. And we can find it looks kind of like a six there. Let me fix that for you. We can find an exact value of this by plugging it into our calculators. But three times the square root of five is fine for me. Um, now you're going to be doing this in WebAssign. So you're going to want to plug this number into your calculator if it tells you to and get an approximation. And if I plug that into my calculator, I get three. Times the square root of five. Is about. Six point seven zero eight two zero. And we can round that to 6.71 or 6.708 or however many decimal places you need to round to. So that's the solution to the first problem that we're looking at here. And now I'm going to add another page to this. It's been a while since I've used smart, uh, smart notebook, but shouldn't have too much trouble doing that. There we go. OK, and now we'll take a look at that other problem that we had on this page.
OK, so here's the other problem in the figure below. S represents the position of a power relay station located on a straight coastal highway and M shows the location of a marine biology experimental station on a nearby island. A cable is to be laid connecting the relay station at S with the experimental station at M via the point Q that lies between zero between O and S. If the cost of running the cable on land is $3 per running foot and the cost of running the cable underwater is $5 per running foot, find the total cost for laying the cable. So we have some points here. We've got O, which is the origin, so we know that's the point zero, zero. Q is the point 2000, zero, and S is the point 10,000, zero, and M is the point zero, 3000. So, well, I'm going to duplicate this image in our next. Um, yeah, I'm going to duplicate this image in Notepad uh, so that you can see that, and then we will go from there. I think instead of switching from one thing to the next, I should just do this and be able to switch between one problem, one uh, image in the next without too much trouble. OK, so here is the graph that we had. Here's the image we had. This is point O, which is 0, 0. Over here is point Q, which is 2000, 0. And way over here is point S, which is 10,000, zero. And up here, we've got point M, which is zero, 3,000. Okay, so we've got two lines where we want to, where we want to lay cable. First, I'm going to change the color here so I can draw that line is this line here. And this is 8,000 feet on land. And we know that the cost of laying cable is three per foot, $3 per foot on land. And we also know that the cost of laying cable is $5 per foot underwater. OK, and then the other piece of cable we want to lay is right here. And we don't know quite how far that is, but we can figure that out using the distance formula again. So. Using the distance formula, we've got two points and we want to find the distance between them. So we're going to make Q, um, yeah, we're going to make M our point one. So this is X1 and Y1, and Q is our point two. So this is X2 and Y2. Then here's what we get distance is equal to the square root of 2000 minus zero squared plus zero minus 3000 squared which is just the square root of 2000 squared plus negative 3000 squared Well, those are some fairly big numbers. But it's not a big problem. This is the same as. Two million, uh, sorry, four million. Plus nine million. Which is 13 million.
OK, well, we want to take the square root of that. That's the same as the square root of 13 times 1 million. And 1 million is a square number, so that's handy. OK, so that's. 1000 times the square root of 13. Which is approximately and again, I grab my calculator. And take the square root of 13. And get 3.6055. And I'm multiplying that by a thousand. We want this to the closest foot. So that's going to be about 3,606 feet. OK, well, now we want to find the cost. We'll call that C. Cost is equal to the distance on land times $3. The distance on land is 8,000 feet. Plus the distance underwater. Times $5, so that's $5 times 3,606 feet. OK, well, 3 times 8,000 is 24,000. Plus. Three thousand six hundred six. Times five, which is eighteen thousand and thirty. Just a zero there. Add those together. And I get 24,000 plus 18,000 is going to be 42,000. And $30. Now, the book may ask us to figure in the decimals. If they do, that's fine. We would just multiply this by, we would just extend this out a couple more decimal places. Uh, it was actually 3,605.55. We could call it that. That would probably get us close enough. And if we multiplied that out, it would change this by honestly less than a dollar. Mm, less than three dollars anyway. All right, so that is the video for these first two examples. If you have any questions, come see me during my office hours or drop me an email.